guys welcome back to the genius life today i'm back at it again with another lock update month three so it's been exactly a month since i've been on here and i just wanted to update you guys on what's been going on with these here locks so i came on here with a fresh a fresh wash i wanted to show you first and foremost what my shrinkage level is. So I just went ahead and washed my hair. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the products I used to wash my hair, but I also wanted to show you how much my hair shrinks, what it looks like after I twist it, and so you can kind of have a before and after of how my hair looks. Because I feel like you always see it at the end, and it's really stretched, but you know, this is a part of the process as well. So first things first, these are the products that I do use currently. Like I mentioned last time, I'm using the Jamaican Mango Lime Locking Gel. Hopefully you could see it. It is, um, actually I have a new tub and this tub does have the ingredients. So it has a bunch of things that are not good. Carboner, paraffin, I can't say any of these things. Basically, it's made of a bunch of chemicals. Believe it or not, I'm actually thinking about lessening my usage. Um, this is a brand new tub and I haven't really used this one too much, but the fact of the matter is I've realized it's, it's causing buildup. Um, like I told you guys before, I wash my hair on a weekly basis and I've noticed over the last couple of weeks that my hair has been super dry, not dry, but super dirty. And it's like probably around the four day mark, like after washing my hair, retwisting, it's really itchy around four days. And it doesn't make any sense because I don't, I didn't have that issue when I was using the aloe vera. So I really enjoy how it twists my hair and it's really, really helping to lock it but I want something a little bit more sustainable. So I'm gonna be using a little bit of this and get back into the aloe vera gel. Um, but then my other product that I'm using currently that I did not show you guys last time is the Dr. Jacobs Castile Soap. And I use that as a shampoo. So this, I love this. Like it tells you on the bottle it's good for daily use as a body wash, as a shampoo, facial cleanser, shaving, lather, mild cleaning detergent, and it's the eucalyptus type. So it does have a very cooling sensation on the scalp. It's a really, it's a really good product. I'm glad I got this. I've seen other people online on YouTube use just the regular Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap, which I'm sure is fine too, but I wanted something a little bit more, you know, hair friendly with the eucalyptus oil or any other essential oil I think I would go for that just to know that it's giving me a little bit different of a scent on my scalp so that is definitely a go it really keeps my scalp clean for the first four days but what I'm gonna do differently going forward is to use less of that Jamaican lime mango twisting gel and then more of the aloe vera so I can hopefully last two weeks so those are the products I'm currently using. My wash routine, like I said, is once per week, usually on Sundays, and um, I twist and then I let it dry overnight and then I take out the pins. Now on to the things that have changed. So over the last four weeks, I've noticed that my hair is locking on a different level. Um, I think last time I showed you guys pretty much, you know, you could see where there was some, lock, some locks forming, but now it's not just locking, and it's not just frizzy, but it, it's almost like enclosing into the lock. So it's basically looking less frizzy. Um, if you look in the back here, you can see where I have a two-headed dragon, which at first I didn't think I'd want, but I'm probably just gonna leave it there. Eventually I might twist it back in, but right now I just, I like the originality. I like the fact that my hair is just doing whatever it wants to do. And I don't think I should try to change it because it's not about me, it's about the whole journey, the whole experience, right? So my hair is locking up, it's not as frizzy, and it's doing its own thing. So apart from that, I'm having still a bit of separation. The back row of my hair is completely different. The texture is probably about 4B. It's very soft. And like I told you guys, I wash every week. So, you know, with that water on, the, on my hair, on my scalp every week, it's giving it more chances to unravel. Everything else pretty much is um, locking. I do have a few locks that are more locked to the end which I'm going to 
interlock a little bit at the root to help it start to solidify further up but that back row I'm gonna do a 360 and show you guys that back row every time I have to retwist it I really enjoy my method it's very unorthodox it's very different and I think it works well for me in order to get that back row just because I have a different texture to get it locked I'm gonna have to try to go two weeks Ugh, without washing and it's gonna kill me but I think it's gonna help to lessen the amount of uh, mango lime gel that I'm using in my hair so with that being said that's pretty much all the changes I've seen I wanted to keep this really short and simple guys um, over the last month I've pretty much only seen growth and locks you know just real solidified locks they're coming together they're getting skinnier and I'm getting closer to the point where I feel like I might stop retwisting it's gonna be puffy on the roots but I need to give it a chance to be able to pull out to the ends and if I continue to twist the ends are gonna be skinny the roots gonna be thick and that's not gonna be good I want the entire lock to be thick because that's that's the look I'm going for I'll leave a comment down below and let me know how your lock journey is going if you have any questions for me let me know and thank you guys for watching remember to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time Bye.